Welcome back to the channel. Today we're delving into the hidden side of Ho Chi Minh City, the red light districts that few talk about. This is a side of the city that's shrouded in mystery, a world that's both intriguing and controversial. Now when we mention the red light districts in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, we're talking about areas that have a reputation for being the city's darker side. These districts are known for their unique atmosphere and activities that are a far cry from the traditional cultural experiences most tourists seek. However, beyond the allure and controversy that surround these districts, there are deeper issues that need to be addressed. The ethical dilemmas posed by these districts and their societal impact on the local community are subjects that often go unaddressed. These areas raise complex questions about exploitation, cultural clashes, and societal norms that demand our attention. It's a discussion that's been long overdue and it's time we delve into it. As we venture into the different areas within the red light districts, we'll uncover the unique atmosphere, activities, and the diverse range of people involved in this underground world. Let's begin with the atmosphere. It's like stepping into a different realm where neon lights cast an otherworldly glow on the bustling streets. The air hums with an energy that's hard to define, a mix of anticipation, apprehension, and a hint of the forbidden. Next, let's talk about the activities. From the surface, you might see a vibrant nightlife scene with bars, clubs, and restaurants aplenty. But delve a little deeper, and you'll discover an array of clandestine activities that operate under the cover of darkness. It's a world where boundaries are blurred and societal norms are often disregarded. And then there's the diverse range of people involved, You'll find everyone, from locals to foreigners, from those seeking a night of entertainment to those looking for a means of survival. Each person has a story, often complex and layered, adding to the intricate tapestry of the red light districts. However, it's important to remember the exploitation that can occur within these districts. Many individuals are drawn into this world due to circumstances beyond their control. They might be grappling with poverty, addiction, or other personal challenges. It's a stark reminder of the darker side of the red light districts and the systemic issues at play. The cultural clashes are also evident. The red light districts are a melting pot of different cultures, languages and customs. Yet, this diversity can also lead to misunderstandings and tension as people from different backgrounds intersect in a space that is often fraught with ethical dilemmas. Indeed, the red light districts raise complex issues that go beyond the surface level allure. They prompt us to question societal norms, to challenge our own perceptions, and to consider the impact on the local community. It's a fascinating and sometimes unsettling journey that sheds light on a side of the city rarely seen by tourists. But here's where things get really interesting. We're about to reveal a perspective or surprising fact about the red light districts that will undoubtedly capture your attention and challenge your preconceptions. Despite the dark connotations, these districts are not just about the illicit activities that take place behind closed doors. They are also a melting pot of cultures, a place where people from different walks of life cross paths, where stories of resilience and human spirit unfold every day. It's a place where the lines between right and wrong become blurred, where survival takes precedence over morality. In fact, many locals view these districts as an integral part of the city's fabric, a testament to its history and a mirror of its societal challenges. It's a world where hardship and joy coexist, where the human capacity to adapt and persevere shines through. The reality is far more nuanced and thought-provoking than it may seem on the surface. In wrapping up our exploration, it's crucial to acknowledge the complexities of the red light districts in Ho Chi Minh City. These are places where societal norms clash with the realities of human nature, where exploitation can lurk in the shadows, yet cultural intrigue and human resilience shine through, where local communities grapple with ethical dilemmas and where tourists rarely glimpse the city's underbelly. Our journey has taken us deep into these districts, exposing us to the unique atmosphere, activities, and the diverse range of people involved. It's been a fascinating and sometimes unsettling journey, but one that has hopefully shed light on an often overlooked side of Ho Chi Minh City. So, what do these complexities and nuances mean for our understanding of the city and its people? That's something for each of us to ponder. I encourage you to share your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing insights on Ho Chi Minh City and beyond. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.